two international days in 12 of April, International Day of Human Space uh, Flight, and uh, World Chugs Disease Day uh, in 14 of April. So first, it starts with International Day of Human Space Flight. And these are the pictures of space flight. The beginning of the space era of mankind, mankind the General Assembly in its resolution of April 2011 declared 12 April as International Day of Human Flight to celebrate each year at the international level the beginning of the space era of mankind affirming the important contribution of space science and technology in achieving sustainable development goals and increasing the well-being of states and peoples as well as ensuring the realization of their aspiration to maintain outer space of or for peaceful purposes 12 of april 1961 was the date of the first human space flight carried out by Yari Gagarin, a Soviet citizen. This historic event opened the way for a space exploration for the benefit of all humanity. The General Assembly expressed its deep conviction of the common interest of mankind in promoting and expanding the exploration and use of outer space at the province of all mankind for peaceful purposes and in continuing efforts to extend to all states the benefits derived there from. The Voyager Gold Record the reminder that we are all connected. Moreover, our planet Earth, resources, international instruments, principles adopted by the UN General Assembly, the UN system, the background, related observations or observances, World Space Week from 4 till 10 October, International Ast Asteroid Day, 30 of June, and International Space Year, 1992, okay, uh, UN and Space, and these are pictures and other uh, uh, topics, space and global goals, optical space mission, why do we mark international days, this in general, in all our international days in the UN, Super so let's see this YouTube video, watch this video. record on a spacecraft and shoot it out of the solar system, really? This is uh, really something. On the Voyager. Two, one, we have ignition and we have liftoff. We have liftoff of the Titan Centaur carrying the first of two Voyager space. recognizes that these two circles must represent a hydrogen atom. I mean, clearly, how hard could that be? And then you just trace the hydrogen atom cycling rate along the lines that indicate the pulse rate of certain pulsars that are configured in the cosmos. So you can easily home in on where the Earth is by just counting those binary symbols, piece of cake, and then play it at what turns out to be 16 and a half RPM revolutions per minute. Earth minutes, this is going to spin in Earth units at 16 and a half revolutions per Earth minute. It's nothing to it. Once it's going, on the other side of the world, found your bottle with your message in it. And that message you're writing it for yourself 
you're really not writing it for the per person or people who are going to find it. And so the Voyager plaque in Britain was this opportunity for humankind to reflect for us to think about ourselves. I send greetings on behalf of the people of our planet. The woman were the special spaceships have left the solar system, the gone of human civilization and culture in all its forms. This uh, video Even link will be in the description. Let's uh, go to the another day which is related to the health the shugs the shugs disease day world chugs disease day uh, the world separate in 14 of april the world the world chugs disease shugs disease also known as a silent and uh, silenced disease affects mainly more people without access uh, to health care or people without political voice the disease progress slowly and often shows an asymptomatic clinical course without treatment. Chugs disease can lead to severe cardiac and digestive alternations and become fatal. Raising awareness of the disease is essential to improve the rates of early treatment and cure together with the interruption of its transmission. The World Chugs Disease Day was celebrated for the first time in 2020. Thanks for watching this video.